And now, ladies and gentlemen, won't you please welcome our first performer of the evening, Miss Jacqueline Dodd. going I see you looking up here and uh, I know what you're thinking that's not a segue I, I can just read minds and, and that's disgusting <laughs> but flattering <laughs> Call me. so I'm not very outdoorsy uh, that's why I'm so pale it's uh, it's not that I'm creepy or anything like like nocturnal or Irish or anything like that I just really like air conditioning when I was a kid I was a Girl Scout and they used to take us on camping trips I couldn't stand it um, something creepy was always trying to get into my sleeping bag, you know, like a spider or a chaperone. <laughs> I come from a really weird family. We're Jewthlic, half Catholic, half Jewish, which makes me guilty. <laughs> We're just like every other family, though. We get together on major holidays like Chrismica and Eastover. <laughs> Last Eastover, I met my sister's new boyfriend. And let me tell you, she's got the worst taste in men. Her college boyfriend took her out for her 21st birthday, made her the designated driver. <laughs> His new boyfriend, he's worse. The, the nicest thing I can say about him is that most of his tattoos are spelled correctly. <laughs> My family's really big on overachieving. Like, my mother's a chemist, my father's a military officer, my sister's an architect, I like to color. <laughs> so I'm in school right now. Anybody else in school? Shut up, it's a rhetorical question. <laughs> Had a lot of jobs, though. I used to be a flight attendant, so I'm really good at locating exits. <laughs> I became a flight attendant right after 9-11, so in training I learned how to pour drinks and kill people. <laughs> Before that, I was a cop, but I don't really like donuts and uh, porks against one of my religions, so that didn't last very long. <laughs> no. I bartend right now, part time. I'm only in school as a fallback till my bartending really takes off. <laughs> No, all my friends are getting married right now. I really want to get married, not for love or companionship or anything like that. I just really hate my last name. <laughs> Dodd. I mean, it makes me easy to remember though. You know, three D's in the name, two in the shirt. <laughs> um, no, I'm not worried about getting married because I have a fallback plan. I have a wedding pack. That's where you marry your gay boyfriend after you turn 35. <laughs> He's in it for the dinner party. I'm in it for the dress. <laughs> I think it'll work out really well. You know, his mother loves me. He'll keep me in expensive shoes, and he'll encourage me to cheat. <laughs> no, I do have a boyfriend right now, though. My boyfriend's in law school, which means I never get to see him. <laughs> There's an upside, though. You know, I don't have to shave my legs or wear makeup or fake my orgasms. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not that he's not good at it, it's just that I know what my orgasm face looks like. <laughs> oh, I'm not very good in relationships. Then again, I don't really know anybody who is. For me, dating's always been like trying on clothes, you know? If I don't feel good with them on me, <laughs> I'm not going out in public with them. <laughs> I mean, dating's always the same thing. You know, they pick you up, they take you out, they get you drunk, they steal your kidney. <laughs> no, I'm a hypochondriac. Thank you, WebMD. Now I have names for diseases I don't actually have. No, I love WebMD, WebMD though, because you just type in your symptoms and wait for the word cancer to appear on the screen. No, I typed in headaches the other day. It told me I needed a prostate exam. <laughs> I gotta get that checked out. <laughs> No, I'm a comic book nerd, and I've gone my entire life without revealing that until now. Anybody else a comic book nerd? It's okay if you don't want to admit it. You can just think it loudly. I'll get it. <laughs> no, when I was a kid, I used to play X-Men. You know, if you were a boy, that was so cool because you had props. You know, you could be, you know, Gambit and throw exploding playing cards, or you could be Wolverine and run with scissors. If you were a girl, you could be Rogue and touch people. <laughs> Girls 
always got the crap powers. My least favorite X-Man, always Jubilee. <laughs> Jubilee, for those of you who don't know, has the super amazing ability to shoot fireworks out of her fingertips. <laughs> they only used her on the X-Men's 4th of July float. <laughs> or if they were fighting an epileptic bad guy. <laughs> we know you have a choice in comedy. We want to thank you for choosing us. Please be careful when exiting, as items may have shifted during laughter. Your exits are here, here, and here. Bye-bye. <laughs>